Today on the channel, we're going to be taking a look at the Super Console X3 Plus from Ken Hank. This is a new retro emulation console, so you can play all your favorite old school video games on this thing. It's supposed to be plug and play, just, you know, turn it on and get to gaming. Let's go ahead and open the box and see what is inside. So we have a remote control. This is because this also uh, has a dual operating system boot functionality, so you can go into the Android side of things. Download YouTube, Netflix, Disney Plus, watch things, play Android games you want. You get HDMI cord there. Power supply, of course. A small micro SD card. This is actually for the Android operating system. So you'll have to put this in the system itself to boot into Android. And then this looks like to be the console. So yeah, got a little plastic film there. Always satisfying to peel that off. So plastic glossy finish up top, big spot for this fan. Uh, I can tell you already, this thing is going to produce some noise. So uh, make sure this is in you know, your entertainment system or away from you. Otherwise you're gonna be hearing that fan whirring around the whole time you're playing games. The micro SD card slot. This one has a 256 gigabyte card slot preloaded with thousands upon thousands of games. I think they're quoting over 110,000 games. You can buy, uh, save some money and buy ones that have smaller SD cards on it. So they have less games on it. Therefore the price is gonna be lower, but that is maxed out at 256. You got a USB 3.0 port here, USB 2.0. Got your ethernet connectivity, uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, your HDMI, your SPDIF, and then your power. And in the front, there is a little illuminated display here that'll show you the time and the power indicator. And then of course you have instructions, how to's, and then what else was, oh yeah, the smart gamepad, because yes, this comes with not one, but two PlayStation style knockoff controllers. Uh, these are actually wireless. You go ahead and open the back. There's the USB dongle. Put the batteries in it, put these dongles inside the console itself, and then you could have some wireless gamepad activity. This thing also has built-in Wi-Fi as well as Bluetooth connectivity. So if you don't like these controllers, because honestly, they're just middle of the road quality, um, just don't worry about it. Just think of them as a bonus. You can connect a Bluetooth controller to this, or you can plug in a USB gamepad or a fight stick, whatever suits your fancy. But for the most part, I think most people are gonna be fixating on the Emulex side, the retro games themselves, and not necessarily the Android. Uh, I think in this day and age, if people want to play Android games, they're already playing it on a different device. So in this review, we'll just be covering the retro games themselves. So let's go ahead and power it on and see about the operating system. All right, and here we have the basic user interface. And as you can see, it says we have over 100,000 games on here. And as always, I always like to, you know, explain that is not necessarily accurate. It's more, you know, 100,000 files, not necessarily games. Uh, in totality, there's probably over 40,000 actual games on this system, but uh, that is a little bit misleading. But overall, you get tons and tons of systems. We'll scroll through them really quick just so you can get a look at it. And you hover over it, it'll tell you how many games are in each one. Uh, basically any and every arcade title you can think of, all your classic systems are on here. It's going to be full catalogs for most of them. Thomas Wave, it's got a pretty decent selection. Uh, the most surprising to me was the Sega Naomi. It has a very uh, healthy catalog of Sega Naomi games. Of course, you got your Final Burn Alpha to go with your MAME and your arcade and everything like that. Your Sega Master System, your Sega Genesis, Nintendo 64, NES, Super NES, Nintendo DS, I mean, like I said, all your basic handheld systems, all your old school retro consoles, all going to be on here. For the most part, everything is going to perform pretty good. Open Bore actually has a great um, plethora of games on here, too. Most of the time when I see these little emulation devices, they have maybe 10 Open Bore games on here. But this has a lot of great ones, specifically things like He-Man, Simpsons Treehouse of Horror, Ports, 32X, Mega CD, Dreamcast, a lot of Dreamcast games on here as well. Uh, more so than typically, like I said, most of these only have five hand-picked games. Uh, for these older systems, once again, you'll have like the entire catalog. But once again, Sega Naomi, 77 games. That's very impressive. Sega Saturn's kind of uh, lackluster on here. Performance is so-so, and a lot of that is due to the emulator settings, not necessarily the power of the console itself. All your Neo Geo systems, 
PlayStation's got a ton of games on here as well, 700 games, PSP, so a very good mix. As far as options, you're just going to hit start after you've configured your joystick, keypad, whatever you're using, whether it be an arcade fight stick or, you know, just a Xbox controller, PlayStation controller, NES gamepad, whatever you're using. But hit start, you can go into your Emulex settings, change the video ratio, aspect ratio, uh, frame rate, things like that. You can enable Bluetooth, that way you can pair wireless controllers if you want to do that type of thing. Game settings, of course, you can change the aspect ratio. So if you don't like the 16 by nine look, you can go four, three or five, four, whatever, you know, whatever suits your fancy. You turn on or off the bezels. So if you don't like the little uh, aesthetic bezels they put with each system, you can turn those off completely. There's, you know, rewind functionality for systems that support it. You can save and load your game states on here. And you can also, as always, load your own game ROMs. All you have to do is pop out the micro SD card, load them up into the appropriate folder, and then you'll be good to go. But Pretty much straightforward, very simple, easy to understand user interface. So let's go ahead and check out the emulation, see how it runs.
At the end of the day, I'm pretty impressed with this Super Console X3 Plus. I mean, the emulation was pretty rock solid. It's not perfect by any means, but none of these systems ever do have perfect emulation. Uh, there were a few instances where I found specifically like Nintendo 64 games where they were running a bit spotty. And I equate that more towards the emulation settings and the actual power on this because this is running much more powerful things on it than a Nintendo 64. So I know with a little bit of tweaking in the emulator settings, I could have got that to iron out and perform admirably. But overall, great option for anybody out there looking for thousands upon thousands of their favorite old school video games at the palm of their hand. Like I said, it's about the size of a, a cell phone, so it's very small footprint and very easy to, uh, you know, get up and going. Simply just power it on and it truly is plug and play. Like I said, comes preloaded with thousands upon thousands of video games on it. Spend as much as you want to get as many video games as you want, but... If you're interested in picking this product up, I'll go ahead and put a product link down in the video description box below. But that does it for this video review. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you hit the like button, share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. It really means a lot.